Hey guys, Tanner Flowers here with Tennessee Technicians. We are starting a new crawl space encapsulation this morning here in Mill Run Subdivision in Oodlewall, Tennessee. I'm going to give you guys a quick tour uh, before I get started. Uh, I don't want to get too far ahead and not have a before video because, you know, it's just a drastic change whenever we're finished and I want you guys to see it. Here we go. My father-in-law's company, Austin Electric, William Austin. They have already done all of our wiring. They just finished it last week and I'll give you guys a quick tour of what we're up against here. This house is really, really, really long and uh, they've been battling a moisture problem for quite some time. A company, I will not mention any names, has already came through and installed numerous numerous uh, humidistat fans in this crawl space <clears throat> of course there's still a moisture problem <clears throat> don't you guys think it's funny that these companies will sell these customers all these automatic fans and you know all these different methods and procedures that they're sold on telling these customers is going to fix their problem and uh, they always still have a moisture problem when it's over with so anyway stay tuned to Tennessee Technicians at facebook.com and I'm going to show you guys how to really take care of a moisture problem <clears throat> gonna have quite a few piers to go around <clears throat> standing water Insulation falling in places. Already had plastic on the ground. Already had vents. Already had humidistat fans. Man! Can't believe they still got a moisture problem. I mean, that's what everybody's convinced that takes care of the moisture in houses, in crawl spaces anyway. Plastic on the ground, right? They already got it. Hey, let me, let me show you how good people do. Look here. These fans are designed to pull air from inside this crawl space, outside the crawl space. Now, in order to do so, wouldn't you think it'd be logical if all this was sealed so that the only air that could pass through would be the air that is being pulled through that fan to be taken out. Sorry, I had a phone call. But anyway, I could stick my whole hand back in here. That's the kind of work that gets done in crawl spaces, guys. <clears throat> Especially when you got people that are just working an hourly job under here doing it. When you call us, see I own this place. This is my reputation at stake. This is how I make a living. I don't get jobs going under here half-assing people. If I have half-assed people, it could be the end of me. I might have, I might have to actually go out and get a real job. <laughs> but uh, of course we ain't gonna let that happen. Cause every job we do, I make sure we give it 110%. I give it my very best effort. And I wanna make sure that each job is better than the last. And just like always, we usually always get a job from a job. Look at this, look how much further down I gotta go. <clears throat> Standing water, it's been dripping off all these duck lines. Guys, in the summertime when your air conditioner is running, these duck lines sweat like crazy. Look at all that. And that's not just this crawl space, that's every crawl space. You don't believe it, go in your crawl space right now and look at your duck lines. <clears throat> See if they're not soaking wet. <clears throat> Getting a little rough back in here. More fans. Kind of tight here, having to belly crawl. There's an old duck line. Somebody's left. There's a new, another main 
whole air conditioning system they left under here. <laughs> really hoping that uh, this customer's contracting team's going to get that out of here for us. That will have to be disassembled. I've already crawled this crawl space. This trunk line is on the ground. So what we'll have to do is work one side with me and one side with Cole or Matt or Clint and we'll get it all taken care of. <clears throat> this crawl space is almost 3,000 square feet. And by the time you crawl from one side to the other, I'm sure you'll be soaking wet. And that's the end of it guys from here to get around that you got to crawl right here and then shoot back under there and go back out the crawl space and that's pretty much it i'll keep you guys posted got a couple guys on the team that are on vacation this week so it'll probably be middle to the end of next week before this job is 100 percent complete but when it is like always we will once again prove why in these crawl spaces good luck trying to find somebody to beat us it ain't gonna happen i won't let it happen we're the best tennesseetechnicians.com give us a shout 423-503-0512